Let's get to this Algae Barn unboxing here. This is an unboxing and an acclimation guide. First out of the box, you'll always notice that you got a Swedish fish and a sticker. And you'll see in the side here, my son pops in because he's going to take those right away. He gets pretty excited when he sees that. He knows what's coming. Now, it's a very well insulated box. They do a magnificent job of packaging this to make sure everything travels safely and comes alive every time we get it. So we get a package every six weeks. And first out of the box is you're going to notice cold packs. It's about 75 degrees. They don't want nothing getting overheated. And then we got the Ocean Magic phytoplankton with four different species in there. And we dose that nightly, every night, to all three of our tanks. And then next we got the 5280 pods with three species in there. And we're going to seed this 53-gallon aquarium and get it ready for some dragonettes. So let's get the Ocean Magic in the refrigerator and the 5280s getting temp acclimated in the sump. Welcome to the Laws Reef House and let's take a deeper look at the Algae Barn Package. Alright, these things have been resting in the sump for the last few hours here. Let me take a look inside real quick and see if we can see some copepods. And you can see in this jar here, there is tons of them flying around in this thing. There's a bunch in a microscopic level, and on this order here, there is tons you can actually physically see. So the first thing you're going to notice is I said it's a couple hours, and that's because we waited for the lights to go off. You need to give the copepods a fighting chance when they go in the tank, and the best time to do it is when the lights are off and the fish are a little bit more settled. In this tank in particular, I got a six line wrasse and he'll like to pick at any of those he can get. So also my hawkfish, he would take any critters he can find as he's sitting around as well. These things are very hardy, pretty impossible to just wipe out a copepod population once they're in your tank. And that's a good thing. So you'll notice here, I like to add a little bit of water to it from my tank. They're about halfway full, so I like to just top them off and let them sit for 15 minutes before I dump them in. Now you'll notice when they get them in shipping, they have a cellophane seal on them, and that's to prevent any spillage going on. So I just take that off, grab some water, and pour it in, and then we'll just let it sit for 15 minutes before I add any of them to the tank. Now that these things have been acclimating for 15 minutes in the jar, go underneath the tank, shut off all the re flow, the return pumps, power heads, also the ATO so I don't got to hear it buzz. Now it's pretty straightforward, but one thing I like to do is take one jar and actually dump it out underneath the water, a little bit closer to the rock work. Don't know if that makes a bigger difference, but I got three jars, so I figure I might as well do one that way. Then I just fill the jar up a couple times and dump it out and just kind of dump it out on different parts of the tank and the best part about this is this is the most positive way to add the most diversity to your tank quick and easy so the rest of them i'll just dump over the water casually all over it left right and once it's emptied i will fill it up with water just to make sure there's no stragglers in there and since I do got three bottles, I do leave half a bottle and put it in my 10 gallon. So this is the ocean magic now for the phytoplankton and just show you this cool bottle for dosing. One tip, I keep these bottles around and I put other things in them like calcium alkalinity. I don't dose because the accuracy is not perfect with these bottles, but for phytoplankton, it's good enough, but it's a quick handy bottle to have for my other elements. So why I'm doing this is for these guys here. This one is my red dragonette, and he, I'm fortunate enough that when I got him, he will eat right from the turkey baster. As you can see here, he's going for food right away as soon as he sees any frozens going in there. This guy has been nothing but awesome. My son's named him Seamus, and we do have a blue one hiding, but this guy is out front and center every time you see him. 
And to me, they look like they fly more than they swim. More walking around and just eating copepods. As always, if you like this video and you want to see more content like this, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. And hit that like and subscribe. And any future videos you'd like to see on any equipment or unboxings, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining us at the Laws Reef House. Just want to mention I am not affiliated or sponsored by Algae Barn of any way. And this was just my quick unboxing and how I do my acclimation for the copepods.